Jane Fonda, a two-time Oscar winner, is known not only for her impressive acting career, but also for her candidness. During a recent event celebrating her work, Fonda shared her experiences collaborating with her four-time co-star, Robert Redford. Throughout their work together in films such as The Chase, Barefoot in the Park, The Electric Horseman, and Our Souls at Night, Fonda found that Redford's moodiness on set initially affected her, causing her to question her own abilities. However, she eventually realized that his mood was not a reflection of her performance. Fonda also revealed that Redford was not fond of kissing scenes, a fact she never addressed directly with him. In addition, she hinted at a complexity in Redford's off-screen persona, stating that he has an issue with women. Despite these revelations, Fonda emphasized that Redford is a good person and that she was in love with him during the filming of three of their four films together. Join us as we delve into Fonda's insights on working with Redford, offering a unique perspective on the legendary actors on and off-screen personas. Jane Fonda, the renowned actress, has spoken openly about her professional relationship with Robert Redford. Fonda and Redford have shared the big screen on several occasions, and their on-screen chemistry is undeniable. However, Fonda has revealed that working with Redford was not always an easy task. One of the challenges Fonda faced when working with Redford was his moodiness on set. The actress shared that Redford could be intimidating and aloof, making it difficult for her to connect with him at times. Despite this, Fonda recognized that Redford's moodiness was a part of who he was and respected him for it. Another issue that Fonda addressed was Redford's aversion to filming intimate scenes. The actress revealed that Redford was not comfortable with filming kissing scenes, which made their romantic moments on screen feel forced and unnatural. Fonda acknowledged that this was a personal preference of Redford's and tried to make the best of the situation. Despite these challenges, Fonda and Redford continued to work together, creating some of the most memorable films of their careers. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable and fans couldn't get enough of the duo. In recent interviews, Fonda has looked back on her time working with Redford with fondness. She recognizes that their relationship was complex, but she is grateful for the opportunity to have worked with such a talented and respected actor. Overall, Jane Fonda's relationship with Robert Redford was a complex one, marked by moodiness and aversion to intimate scenes. However, the two actors were able to overcome these challenges, creating some of the most memorable films in Hollywood history. Fonda's respect and admiration for Redford are clear, and their on-screen chemistry will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Jane Fonda has experienced significant personal growth throughout her career. One such instance occurred during the filming of the movie Our Souls at Night, where she realized that she was not responsible for Redford's mood. This realization came late in her career, but it allowed Fonda to gain a deeper understanding of herself and her relationships with others. Over the years, Jane Fonda has demonstrated her acting prowess through her performances in various films and television shows. She has brought to life a wide range of characters, showcasing her versatility and talent as an actress. Through her roles, Fonda has not only entertained audiences, but has also touched their hearts and minds. In addition to her acting career, Fonda has been an influential figure in the world of fitness. She has inspired countless individuals to lead healthier and more active lifestyles through her exercise videos and fitness classes. Her dedication to promoting physical fitness has left a lasting impact on the lives of many people. Throughout her career, Jane Fonda has made important contributions to the entertainment industry and beyond. She has been a role model for many, demonstrating the importance of personal growth, resilience, and determination. Her legacy continues to resonate with fans and admirers alike as her work continues to influence and inspire future generations. Jane Fonda and Robert Redford have a unique co-star dynamic. Despite Redford's moodiness and reluctance towards romantic scenes, Fonda has acknowledged a deep connection with him. She has even admitted to being in love during the filming of three of their movies, The Electric Horseman, Barefoot in the Park, and Our Single Class. Fonda has spoken about their connection in various interviews, recalling how they would have intense conversations between takes and how she felt a strong attraction to him. However, she has also mentioned that Redford was not interested in pursuing a romantic relationship off-screen, and they remained close friends. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and their collaborations resulted in some of their most memorable performances. 
Fonda's ability to connect with Redford, despite his moodiness, speaks to her skill as an actress and her professionalism. Despite the challenges they face, Fonda and Redford have a mutual respect and admiration for each other that has endured over the years. Their co-star dynamic is a testament to the power of a deep connection, even if it doesn't necessarily translate into a romantic relationship. Jane Fonda is an American actress, political activist, and former fashion model. She was born on December 21, 1937, in New York City. Fonda is the daughter of Henry Fonda, a legendary actor, and Francis Ford Seymour. She has a brother named Peter Fonda, who is also an actor. Jane Fonda began her acting career in the early 1960s with her debut film, Tall Story, in 1960. She then starred in several successful films, such as Cat Balu, Barefoot in the Park, and Barbarella. Fonda's most notable film success came with her role in Coming Home, for which she won her first Academy Award for Best Actress. She later won her second Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Morning After. In addition to her acting career, Jane Fonda has been an active political activist. She was involved in the anti-Vietnam War movement in the 1970s and was even arrested for her protests. Fonda has also been an advocate for women's rights and environmental issues. Fonda is also known for her fitness videos, which were very popular in the 1980s. She created a workout program called Jane Fonda's Workout and released a series of workout videos that helped popularize aerobics. Throughout her career, Jane Fonda has been nominated for a total of eight Academy Awards and has won two. She has also received numerous other awards and honors for her acting and activism work. In summary, Jane Fonda is a highly accomplished actress, political activist, and fitness entrepreneur. She has appeared in numerous successful films, won multiple awards, and has been involved in various political and social causes. Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin's friendship began in 1977 when they first worked together in the movie 9 to 5. This collaboration marked the beginning of a deep and lasting friendship between the two actresses, one that has flourished over decades. Their friendship is marked by mutual professional respect and shared experiences in Hollywood. Both women have enjoyed long and successful careers in the entertainment industry and have faced many of the same challenges and triumphs along the way. Despite the ups and downs of life in the spotlight, Fonda and Tomlin have remained close and their friendship has only grown stronger with time. They have continued to work together on various projects over the years and have always spoken warmly of each other in interviews and public appearances. In addition to their professional respect and admiration for one another, Fonda and Tomlin also share a deep personal connection. They have been there for each other through thick and thin and their friendship is a testament to the power of connection and support. In short, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin's friendship is a true Hollywood success story, one that has brought joy, inspiration, and support to both women for over four decades. Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin have formed a close friendship over the years, collaborating on various projects that have captured the hearts of many. Their most recent endeavor is the Netflix series Grace and Frankie, where they play two unlikely friends who bond after their husbands reveal they are in love with each other. The show has been well received, with critics praising Fonda and Tomlin's chemistry and comedic timing. Prior to Grace and Frankie, Fonda and Tomlin starred in the 1980 film 9 to 5, which told the story of three women who take revenge on their sexist boss. The film was a commercial success and has since become a cult classic. Fonda and Tomlin's friendship extends beyond their professional lives. They have been spotted attending events together and supporting each other's causes. In interviews, they have spoken fondly of each other and their collaborations. Although Grace and Frankie has concluded, Fonda and Tomlin have expressed interest in working together again in the future. Fans of the duo can look forward to seeing what they have in store next. In summary, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin have formed a lasting friendship and successful professional partnership. From 9 to 5 to Grace and Frankie, they have captivated audiences with their chemistry and comedic skills. With plans to collaborate more in the future, fans can continue to enjoy their work together for years to come. Jane Fonda shares a humorous anecdote from the filming of Moving On where an on-screen kiss with co-star Richard Roundtree was complicated by her cold. During the scene, Fonda was supposed to give Roundtree a quick peck on the lips, but she ended up accidentally giving him a full-blown cold kiss instead. This unexpected moment caused both actors to burst into laughter, disrupting the filming. 
Fonda found the situation amusing and later shared the story during interviews, highlighting the unpredictable nature of filming. Despite the mishap, the scene was successfully filmed and the movie was well received by audiences. Throughout her career, Fonda has had many memorable on-screen romances with various co-stars, but this particular incident with Roundtree stands out as a light-hearted and entertaining moment. Fonda's ability to find humor in unexpected situations and share these stories with her fans is just one of the many reasons why she is beloved by audiences around the world. In the upcoming film, Book Club, the next chapter, Jane Fonda, along with her co-stars Diane Keaton, Candace Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen, embarks on a journey to Italy. The sequel not only promises a continuation of their character's enduring friendship, but also offers a glimpse into the real-life camaraderie of these accomplished actresses. The film sees the four friends leaving their everyday lives behind, exploring the beautiful Italian countryside and immersing themselves in the local culture. This adventure allows them to form deeper connections, not only with each other, but also with themselves. Fonda's character, Vivian, is a strong and independent woman who has always valued her freedom. Throughout the film, we see how her friendship with Diane, Candace, and Mary enriches her life, providing her with a sense of belonging and companionship. The actress's genuine friendship is evident in their interactions, both on and off screen. They share a comfortable and easy rapport, which adds an authentic touch to their on-screen friendship. This real-life camaraderie translates into a more engaging and believable performance, making the audience feel as if they are witnessing a genuine friendship unfold. Book Club, the next chapter, is not just a film about four friends on a trip. It's a celebration of enduring friendship and the enriching experiences that come with it. The beautiful Italian backdrop, combined with the actress's heartfelt performances, promises to make this a memorable and enjoyable film. In conclusion, Book Club, the next chapter, offers a delightful escape, showcasing the real-life friendship of four talented actresses. So, get ready to join Jane Fonda, Diane Keaton, Candace Bergen, and Mary Steenburgen on their Italian adventure and be inspired by their enduring friendship. Jane Fonda, while filming in Italy, had a memorable experience during a private tour of the Sistine Chapel at night. This exclusive opportunity allowed her and the cast to enjoy the beauty of the chapel in a unique and intimate setting away from the crowds and distractions of the daytime tourists. The Sistine Chapel, known for its impressive frescoes painted by Michelangelo, is a significant cultural and historical landmark. Fonda and her colleagues had the privilege of observing these masterpieces up close, allowing them to truly appreciate the intricate details and artistry of the work. The nighttime setting added a sense of tranquility and awe to the experience. The absence of the usual hustle and bustle of tourists created a peaceful atmosphere, enabling the cast to connect with the space on a deeper level. The dim lighting and quiet environment allowed them to focus on the beauty and significance of the art that surrounded them. Fonda's recollection of this experience highlights the unique moments shared by the cast off screen. These moments, often unplanned and unscripted, contribute to the overall experience of making a film and bring the cast closer together. The private tour of the Sistine Chapel was not only a memorable experience for Fonda, but also a bonding opportunity for the entire cast and crew. In conclusion, Jane Fonda's private tour of the Sistine Chapel during the filming in Italy was a unique and memorable experience. The peaceful and intimate setting allowed her and the cast to truly appreciate the beauty and significance of the art within the chapel. This experience also served as a reminder of the special moments shared by cast and crew members while working on a film.